Good morning. Several far-left ministers in the caretaker government continue to speak out against Israeli attacks on Gaza yesterday, pushing for Spain and the international community to do more to stop its actions in Palestine. Bombing hospitals, refugee camps, children, defenseless elderly people, Israel is demonstrating the worst of humanity. How long will European leaders make us accomplices of this barbarism? So Ion Balera, the head of the Podemos party, a minister for social rights, posted on social media. Balera, who has been pressuring Spain and the EU to break off ties with Israel, also praised Bolivia for breaking diplomatic relations with Israel and Colombia for calling the siege a genocide. After Israel admitted to bombing a refugee camp on Tuesday, the Minister of Consumer Affairs, Alberto Garzon, also shared his condemnation. Meanwhile, the Equality Minister, Irene Montero, reshared Colombian leader Gustavo Petro's post, calling Israel's actions genocidal. Earlier this week, the Federation of Jewish Communities in Spain called out ministers for anti-Semitism. The Israeli embassy also slammed them as having aligned themselves with ISIS-like terrorism for prior comments. The government rebuked the embassy's statements, accusing it of mischaracterizing their positions and asserting that Spanish politicians can freely share their opinions. Foreign Affairs Minister Jose Manuel Alvarez also insisted that Spain's official foreign policy is only determined by his or the Prime Minister's office. A British mother of three has been left with life-altering injuries after a vehicle driving on the wrong side of the road in Alicante crashed into her. Dawn Maher was hospitalised after she suffered a severe crash whilst driving to pick up a friend from the Alicante airport earlier this month. She collided with a car that began speeding down the wrong lane of the N332 into oncoming traffic and was taken to the Vega Baja hospital. She was in a critical condition for several days, although now she is awake and can breathe without the help of a ventilator. Dawn was planning on hosting her 50th birthday in the city, which she has called home for several years. And a British expat has revealed her shock after being hit with massive water bills. Gillian Hodge said she completely panicked and is suffering from stress after receiving two eye-watering bills from the La Vinuela Town Hall. The 66-year-old retired pharmacist who lives between Spain and Scotland with her husband Tom said she couldn't believe that she owed some €73,640. The total comprises two big demands, one for the third quarter of 2022, that's for €28,420, and the other for the second quarter of 2023, coming in at €45,220. The two interim quarters came in at just €15.48 and €14.18 respectively. The town hall, which administers the water, claims that her three-bedroom property has used 2.6 million cubic litres over the combined 180-day period. That's enough to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool. Meanwhile, her British neighbour has been forced to call in lawyers after he was sent a bill for €43,000. Another 20 people, the majority British expats, have also been landed with bills in the thousands. That's the latest from DRE. I'm Bob James.